Oh, I'd say. Oh my god, it's huge. Keep him on. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Hawaii Outdoors. This week's video is sponsored by Fishmore Company. I'll show you the products here quick. So Fishmore is the all-new Tango Free Tackle Box idea here. So basically any kind of lure you have or need, they will make inserts for them. And this foam here is the highest quality closed cell foam available, which means it doesn't absorb water. So it keeps your lures dry. And each lure, each hook has holes at the bottom to put the hooks in. And there's little drain plugs at the bottom here. So no water will sit in these holes and rust your hooks out, which saves you a lot of money. And what I find the best part of this is, is you can see every single lure you have. So there's no digging for lures like this. You pull one spoon out and three more come with it. They're all tangled up, trying to find which one you need. You can see what you're looking for, grab it quick, just like this. Pull it out of there, tie it on, cut one off, put it back. They make them for any lure, like I said, these are number seven rattling shad wraps. These are number five regular shad wraps. And this is this winter's buckshot, eighth or 16th ounce. So basically, these are all my jigging spoons I have. I don't have that many, so I don't use them that often, but some of these are way bigger than they're supposed to be fitting in here, and they fit just fine. I don't have a 3,600 size tackle box for this right now, but I will get one and it's gonna be awesome. <clears throat> so you can either get them in 3,600, which is this size, or 3,700 size tackle boxes, which is this size. Or you can get a favorite bar, they call it, which would be half of this size. So it'd be two. You could fit two in a row here. And then the rest of your tackle box could be the regular slots like this. So I could take all these slots out here and put a favorite bar in here just for my spoons, which I think I'm gonna do. So another main component of this Tango Free Tackle Box in the, in the name is, I'll get that shot here. All your lures are banging around, damaging the paint on them, getting tangled together. These on the other hand, they don't move around. They won't be banging against each other, wrecking the paint on them. Saves your investment. So you need one of these, you just pull her out of there. Tie it on. Goes back in just as easy. So yeah, pretty cool company sponsoring us. If you guys would like 10% off on the website, use code HoyamOutdoors10, all lowercase, to save you some money on your order. And yeah, I love it. I'm sure you would too. Christmas is right around the corner. This video is actually going to be going up on Christmas Eve, so it's kind of late to get for a Christmas present. But and don't forget to subscribe to Hoyam Outdoors. Go check out fishmorecompany.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Hawaii Outdoors. Today we're back out here ice fishing once again. Uh, about six inches this time. Same spot last night. We're at the same spot as last night that we limited out, so. Should have a chance of catching a few more. We got more tip ups out tonight. We got three tip ups out. Lucas is gonna jag. We had more luck on those last night than we did on the sticks inside the fish house so just had the first flag nothing there but it's only 2 15 so we got a few hours till prime time anyway so if we're getting flags already it's gonna be a good night i think stay tuned hopefully we can get some more walkers for you guys we got boys i didn't even see it spinning but i saw it go up
Get him, Lou. Oh, no. I got mine. Better fish? Mm-hmm. Yes! I don't think it's going to make 16, though. How does that happen? Dig? Nope. Nice eater! Eater. Nice eater. I'm going to catch one. Nice one. Nice one. Just tangle up. Nice eater. Good deal. Eater. Yeah. Maybe not. No. We'll see ya. There's an eater. Really? Yeah. It actually feels big. Ooh. No. no. There's a 20 incher. Yes. Get out of the way. Big. Big. You get big ones on this, huh? I thought you just lost them. You got a good one? Yeah. Sure 21, 22 good. maybe? No, I'd say. Oh my god, it's huge. Keep them on. Oh, oh my god, Garrett. 
Get him up the hole. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Good Pull her out. Nice 22 and a half, 23 incher. Let's go! Alright. Alright guys, 23 inch pig going back. Bleeding a little, but he wasn't hooked bad. He wasn't hooked, so just roughed up a little bit on the ice. Oh, he's good. Barely moving. Big one. Head shakes felt nice, but I think it's a 12. Yep. Little ones. Fired up, look at that. Great, hungry. Just got another 15 inch on the tip up. Not another, it's the first smallest one of the night. We're gonna keep her. We got six now, we need two more. Tip up's blowing away, it's so windy. Let's see if we can get two more. Yep. Head her home. Just straight down. Feels like a nice fish. Just had another flag, a little 13 inch or something. We got six good eaters. The biggest is 20 and a quarter, the smallest is 16. <laughs> it's about 6.45. We're gonna give her another 15 minutes here and head her home. It's been pretty slow the past hour, so. Overall, it was a pretty good night. We got a couple big ones, 23 incher, so. Wasn't bad. Thanks for watching. Probably see you tomorrow. This ain't gonna be long enough for one video, so. See you then. Stay tuned. Oh, hey there. Next day here, we got some big walleyes we're going to make up. If you're sick and tired of fried fish, you can try our new recipe here. All you got to do is get some oil for your pan. Any kind of seasonings you like. We like waters and onion powder, so spray your pan here. Just the bottom. Lay your fish fillets in there. Big walleyes. Where from? Wood Lake. Preheat your oven to 350 before you do this. You grab some bacon here, not cooked. You just lay them in strips across the opposite way. I guess it doesn't really matter, but. Just like that. Looking good yet? Oh yeah. So once your oven's preheated to 350, you just slap it in there. Don't add nothing, no water, nothing. And you go ahead and crank it up. The broil? I guess there's a broil button. 
to broil. And you let her sit there for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how you like your bacon. By the time the bacon's crispy, your fish will be done. So we'll see you when we pull it out. About 10 minutes in here, looking good. Well, 25 minutes later, she's done. I like my bacon crispy, so we left her in there a little bit longer. That's gonna be good, eh? We're gonna have to mention earlier, don't put anything over the top of it, don't wrap it. We'll let her cool off a little bit and dig in. That's 25 minutes there. Crispy bacon. White flaky fish, perfect bacon. Gonna be good. Probably let it cool off here for a couple minutes. Look at how white that meat is. See how she tastes. You gotta get some bacon on there. You want some mm. tasty? Much better than duck. So if you guys are sick and tired of frying fish all the time, give this recipe a try. 25 minutes on broil. Pretty easy. This is gonna be gone in 36 seconds. If you guys enjoyed the video, give her a like, smash that subscribe button, and stay tuned for some more. Big walleye catch clean cooks this winter. Thanks for watching.